हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज नंदिनी हिरानी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज ताल वोल्कैनो स्प्यूज लावा इन फिलीपींस अ डे आफ्टर रमलिंग टू लाइफ द ताल वोल्कैनो इन द सेंट्रल फिलीपींस बिगन टू स्प्यू लावा ऑन मंडे एंड ऑफिशियल्स वॉन दैट इरप्शंस कुड लास्ट मंथ्स और ओवर इवन इयर्स द वोल्कैनो इज लोकेटेड इन बतंग्स प्रोविंस एंड इज कंट्रीज सेकंड मोस्ट एक्टिव वोल्कैनो As the Tal volcano began to spew ash and smoke on Sunday, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology raised its status to an alert level four, indicating a hazardous eruption is possible within hours to days. The alert system has five levels, with alert level five meaning a hazardous eruption is in a progress. A weak lava flow was emitted from the active volcano for an hour and a half early Monday morning, according to Fivox. The volcano was only spewing smoke and ash on Sunday. Officials said that this does not necessarily mean the volcano has entered the hazardous explosive eruption phase yet. The Tal volcano about 37 miles south of the capital Manila on the island of Luzon is one of the country's most active. On Sunday, ash from the volcano mixed with rain creating a thick black sludge that blanketed nearby towns causing the cancellation of flights and the closure of businesses and government offices. More than 11,000 people have already evacuated, and there are several towns under evacuation orders. But that number is expected to rise throughout the coming days, according to local authorities. Aid and relief organizations like the Red Cross are responding at the flow of evacuees, sending ambulances and rescue vehicles to help the evacuation operation. More than 25 million people live within 100 kilometers of the volcano. Ash from the volcano has so far spread as far as Quezon City, north of Manila, prompting the suspension of all flights at the capital's international airport. Though the ash isn't considered toxic, it holds shards of fine glass that can contaminate air and water supplies. It also poses a risk to homes. Ash is even heavier than snow, meaning excessive deposits, especially when mixed with rain, can cause roofs to collapse. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.